Hey, what's going on Instagram? Hope you guys are having a great day today. It's Saturday. It's a little rainy here, but it's all good. It's all good. I was uh, working on my blog for this week. Um, for those of you who know me, my name is Anthony Conklin. I'm a um, president and founder of a company called the AJC Group. I'm also a keynote speaker, motivational speaker. Um, anything that gets me on stage is what I really love to do. So, But I'm working right now on my, my sales and marketing company called the AJC Group. Uh, you know, we come in and we look at a sales organization, we identify the gaps, and then we provide very prescriptive measures to turn that company around. So I wanted to share with you today a little bit about confidence. I did a video yesterday on Facebook about confidence because I, I've been running into some people who have been having some challenges with confidence. And confidence, you have to think about for, for a minute, gotta kind of slow down. You know, Ed Milet just did a video. I know Grant and Gary and Tony Robbins and all these really high power people do these videos every day. And yeah, you know, those are things. Uh, those are things to use as sort of daily motivation, daily inspiration. But at the end of the day, when you turn your phone off, right, or when you turn your Instagram or your Facebook feed off, it's just you, right? And then how do you get the confidence to start that business? You know, how do you get the confidence to you know? Marry that girl, marry that guy, or, or, or take that trip. You know, I'll tell you a really quick story. You know, my confidence was shattered recently when I had some changes going on in my business. I mean, literally, like the income stopped. It just totally stopped. And I had a revelation. I said, you know what? I can sit here and get upset about it. I can complain about it. But I have to do something about it. And so what I did was I... I, I Tapped into some resources that I uh, that I knew. I called some people. I got some thoughts and advice. And but what I did was I had all these resources and I had all of this data that I put together. And I said, you know what? I'm going to st finally start my company. I've been in sales and marketing for 25 years, and I spent 11 years in the solar energy business. I'm like, shit. I'm going to start my own sales consulting company. So I launched. Well, the birth of the AJC Group started three months ago. And I've been sending out emails and doing blog postings and LinkedIn and Facebook Lives and now Instagram Lives. And for those of you that, that are here, welcome back to the replay. Really appreciate you. Uh, but I found the confidence to do that because no one's going to give you confidence. You know, your wife, your husband, your parents, your friends, your coworkers. It's not their job to give you confidence, but what they do is they try to make you feel better. They say, you know, it's okay, don't worry about it, you know, life's gonna be great, but the fact of the matter is, is that confidence is something that you give to yourself. And I was having this discussion with someone yesterday about confidence, so let me give you, let me give you a quick tip on how to get your confidence. Confidence is something that you give to yourself. And the way you give it to yourself is you gotta go after your passion and your purpose in life, okay? I know you guys hear this at nauseum, but passion and purpose. Passion, what do you love to do? What gets you out of bed in the morning? What do you do that just comes naturally to you and you, you just do it, right? Your passion is something that you give to yourself. Your purpose is what you give away to other people. So your purpose is, I wanna go donate my time. I wanna be a consultant, I wanna be an entrepreneur, I wanna be an accountant, a lawyer, a doctor, a chiropractor. I wanna go be something, right? So your passion starts with you your purpose is something you give away, and when you go through the passion and purpose process or the realization or self-actualization part of your life, what happens? Your confidence factor kicks in. Do you ever, let me ask you a question, do you ever question your confidence when you're doing something that you're passionate about? Before I answer that question, if you guys like this, just hit the little hearts down there and share it out with someone who really needs to hear this. I mean, this is important stuff. Confidence is really important stuff. And confidence isn't something that someone's just gonna say, here. Here, Anthony, go feel confident. They're gonna like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. But they're not gonna give you confidence. You have to give it to yourself. So here's the number one tip on how to gain your own confidence back or to build your confidence up. Number one, automatically stop and say, does this serve me, right? And you may be having a really bad day. You may be feeling really depressed or really down. There was a quote that I heard the other day and it's so brilliant, so brilliant. The quote said, lean in to the suck. Meaning, when something sucks or you feel bad or you're having a bad day, lean into it. And when you lean into it, let it wash over you. It's like a wave. Let it wash over you and you get popped right back up. You, you'll pop right back up after the suck or after the wave. So stop for a second and say, does this serve me? No, it doesn't. I'm going to feel this feeling and I'm going to get right through it. I'm going to get back on my horse. You're, there's your confidence. Your confidence has already been lifted up. So that's the first thing. Lean into the suck, passion, purpose. Here is the best, best advice I was given, and I'm gonna take this advice, and I'm gonna give it to you, and I hope you really understand this. If you wanna gain your confidence back, or if you wanna find your confidence, 
go find someone right now who needs a confidence boost. Because what happens is when you sit and you question your confidence, you question your ability, and you compare yourself, what you're doing is you're being selfish. You're, you're creating this suffering um, wave to come into your life. Suffering is optional, pain is necessary, okay? You're always gonna have pain in your life. Suffering is something that means you're focusing too much on yourself. So to turn away from yourself, to turn away from the suffering, to turn away from lack of confidence, go find somebody who needs to feel confident. Go find someone who needs confidence right now. Go find a friend, go find a coworker, go, go find someone in your neighborhood that, that you know very well. Or if you just, you know, go, go down, you know, Go down to the local old, you know, the old folks home. You know, go down to one of these senior living places and go talk to somebody. And all of a sudden you realize, hey, I'm young enough, I'm strong enough, I'm confident enough, I got this. And you'll get your confidence back. Remember, confidence is something that you give to yourself by giving away your passion and your purpose. Hopefully that's helpful, guys. Hey, once again, my name is Anthony Conklin. I'm the founder of the AJC Group. I'm a motivational speaker and a sales strategist. If you like what you heard, I'd like you to put your comments here below. I'm gonna share this out with everybody. I'll share it out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll also put it on LinkedIn. Uh, you can find me here. If you have questions about confidence, please leave me a note. Really appreciate it. You can find me at theajcgroup.com. Thank you so much. Remember, you have greatness within you. Live your passion every single day and your confidence will instantly appear. Until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.